Stephen, we were saying up in the press box that we were probably the best side over the piece there. Yet again, we're talking about nothing to show for it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think from 18-yard box to 18-yard box, we were excellent today. We carried out the work um, that we'd planned really well. The tactical detail, the players' attitude to the game was excellent. But what let us down today was our final pass, our final moment when we created the opportunities and also just one moment in the first half where we didn't defend, you know, a bread and butter moment. That aside, you know, the players were at it. They were uh, they were aggressive in a lot of their play against a very good team and that's the disappointing factor. But we came here, we gave a good account ourselves and we leave with nothing. How hard is it for you to take that, Stephen? Because you've seen the team basically do what the game plan was. But again, as we've said, come away with nothing to show for it. Of course it's frustrating, but I have to keep, you know, focused and believing. You know, um, I've seen Jurgen Klopp talking about the world's a circus these days, and it is a circus. But my job is to analyse the game. My job is to look at the game in a more balanced view. My game is not to be up and down continuously. My job is to ensure that these players um, are ready for Tuesday again. And that's, that's, that's my responsibility. And I have to keep working hard on them because I see some real green shoots you know I thought you know the two centre backs that came in today did really well in the game um, I thought that we worked tirelessly as a team and um, I, I was really pleased with many aspects but again we lose the game and uh, you know I, I, I understand that as a manager that you are generally judged by results but I'm a manager as well that's improving the players and we're moving forward and I think once we we um, we keep improving then I think the results will come. You mentioned that first goal, that real lapse of concentration again what, what do we do to make sure that stops happening? We defend the moment you know we, we have a responsibility in these moments and we have to defend them that's our job you know as defenders uh, you know it's the bread and butter of football and we have to do that we have to get better at that because in the game again you know they, they hadn't really carved out too many opportunities and it was a stage of the game where it was probably their only stage in the first half where they put us under any sort of pressure and we have to be more resilient in these types of moments and uh, that was a disappointing factor. And in the attacking third, I know I've asked you this before and I hate using the confidence word but is there a lack of confidence in that, in that final third that's causing us not to take advantage of these really good moments? Well there shouldn't be because you know uh, Hallam scored last week and gave a really good performance. You know, fellas scored five goals since coming here, so there shouldn't be. Um, I just thought our decision making in the final moments, uh, in the final passes, was the disappointing factor today because a lot of our other play was very good. You got to remember we hit the the bar twice, we hit the underside the bar, and it comes out. These sorts of moments when the luck's going with you, it goes with you. But we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We have to keep going and going and going. And I, I believe that if we do that, it will turn. I was going to mention those moments because it does feel like everything goes against you when you're in the bottom half but again is it a case of we have to keep going and making our own look? Of course you do this is football don't feel sorry for yourself you know you have to deal with adversity you have to deal with the disappointments but then you have to come back and we have to do that again Tuesday night because there's a lot to take from today's game a lot of good work today against a good side ultimately though we didn't get anything for our good work I suppose you showed in the team selection that you're trying to take steps to make sure that we do turn this around. Of course, and I thought that, as I said earlier in the interview, that I thought two centre-backs, John Mellish and uh, Jared Branthwaite, gave really good accounts of themselves today. You know, Jared, for 17, gave an outstanding performance. That was a, you know, a real plus point for us today. But I thought as well, Byron in the middle, uh, managed them really well, supported them really well. So there was a lot of good things. But as I said, it was just a final moment a final pass today that there was uh, the big disappointment. Jared, he, he showed that he's ready to make the step up. He was winning some great headers. I think there was only one way he would pass about his fourth touch or whatever. He did well. 
he did better than well. For a 17-year-old kid making his league debut, I thought he was outstanding. I really did. I'm just disappointed that we didn't win the game for him. It must have been a heck of a, a different decision not to, to go with Sagaf and go with Bridge instead. Yeah, I spoke to the players today. You know, the players that I made changes for and explained my decision. It's never the easiest job, but it's a job that you have to do as the manager. And uh, I felt that we were... You know, we went with the right side, you know, and I, I, I felt, as I've said, we, we, we talked and uh, planned the tactical work and I thought they carried it out brilliantly. I really did. I thought we were really aggressive in our pressing today, really good on the turnovers, but I just felt in those... As I keep referring back to the key moments in terms of our final pass, our final decision was the, the moments that let us down today. You make it clear every week that you believe in these players. Are they going to turn this round for us and, more importantly, for you? Well, I certainly believe so. You know, there's, I would have concerns, as I've said before, if if we weren't doing some really good things, and I would have concerns if I didn't see a real, real effort from the group of players just now. I'm seeing all of those things. The margins are tight, and uh, we have to keep believing. Harry McCurdy missing today. Back for Tuesday. Well, we hope so. He tried to train Thursday. Um, he, he, he had a reaction from it. He came in to speak to me after the training and just felt that he wasn't quite right. And uh, although it would have been good to have him here, you know, the last thing I want to do is put him on as a sub and then he breaks down. So it wasn't ideal. So uh, he's rested up for the weekend and, and hopefully if he's not available for Tuesday, he'll certainly be available for the following Saturday. Northampton, a team that uh, stop start a bit with results so far this season. What can we expect on Tuesday? I think the, the most important thing is that uh, what we do, you know, and if we if we have the application of today, if we have a lot of the elements of today, but we're tidier in the final moments, then I, I believe we'll win the game.